I thought I'd make a quick vlog and I have a number of topics that I want to cover but I didn't write them down <laughs> but at least I thought of some topics before I started recording so now I can record and possibly have everything come out fluidly mm -hmm. you know be more fluid and so the first thing I want to talk about is the pandemic. I'm so sorry to everyone who lost loved ones uh, during the pandemic last year. And I know the holidays were not easy for you because of it. And so I just wanted to say you all have my sincerest, sincerest, condolences sorry I was getting interference and I posted that on my blogster uh, site and so and those who didn't lose anyone I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and a good New Year's Eve and I spent Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with my sister and mother and I was very very busy the entire time because they came to my house so um, I I redecorated the the kitchen and the bedroom and I put some decorations up in the living room I really did not do much. It was just stuff I added. That's all. That's all I did. I didn't do much. I added this blackout curtain behind me, if you see it. I don't know if they're showing you things yet. We are. We are now. Okay. So, <clears throat> and my, so my sister, my mother and I, played a game and it was very fun and um it's like the the game where uh, everybody brings a gift and the people take a gift from people and give them something except there was three people and I bought all the gifts because I was hosting so we just went waited till everybody had a gift then we took turns taking gifts from everyone else, uh, one gift that we wanted from someone, and then giving them that gift that the next person went, took the turn, and then gave that person a gift, and, and then finally the last person took the turn. And, uh... It was fun. It was really fun. Most of the stuff was clearance jewelry from J. Crew. I managed to pay very little for it because J. Crew Factory, I'm sorry. And because when J. Crew has a clearance, okay? So it was when J. Crew has a, uh, well, had, J. Crew had a clearance sale for. 80% off on clearance and then 80% off on the website and then an extra 30% off clearance of the clearance price. So I paid very little and I was able to get some, uh, some very, uh, some very nice things. <clears throat> and, uh, so, and then there were a few things from the thrift store too. And, they were all like real, you know, womanly things f for women. So, because we were all women here. And, uh, so now I'm going to get a little bit serious again. And that is, I'm going to talk about my sister and my brother and my men. Someone is lying to me again. And I really believe, it always feels like my men are setting me up. It always feels like that because they told me that 
where I was getting the money from was legal and not a sin. And it was my money because it was coming from someone. And that was the case. That was the case. So then, now, my brother and sister want me to pay the money back. And they are going to pay for that. They, were, they are going to pay. Because you don't need to pay that money back. It's yours. Oh. So, they want to take my entire COVID-19 relief check. So... And then I have to pay it all back. I don't mind paying it back. I mean, I don't really need that much money. It's just that I was told by my men that I could do it. And they, that the money was mine. So, it's a bit of, it is a bit upsetting. The next thing I want to talk about is... People who spent the holidays alone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm not keeping you company anymore. And But lots of people are keeping people company. Okay? It is a very big trend. And a lot of people kept people company on their YouTube channels or on social media this Christmas. And all the holidays since you started that trend. Okay. Okay. So good. I hope you found some comfort in um in being kept company by people. And they did. Most people did. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk about and now I forgot my list that I created. So um I'm going to have to take a moment. Okay. So one of the other things I wanted to talk about was the election. And I don't know what's going on. I really don't because I haven't been keeping up because I just get fake news now. Even from so-called conservative news. So, um, so I just don't know what's going on. And... I, I hope that in, that when it is all said and done, that the United States, the people of the United States can feel proud that they did not let an election be taken this way. And that is from Rudy Giuliani. He was making a speech and he was saying, you know, future generations are going to say, what did you do about it? You know, so I just kind of took that from him and put it in my own words. You know, I really hope that we do something about this. That something seriously gets done. It gets done. And that on January 20th, President Trump... <coughs> is the one who remains in office. And I really don't have New Year's resolutions just because I try not to make plans because every time I make plans, they get ruined. So no New Year's resolutions right now except to just... Get a fresh start on everything. That's it. A fresh start on everything. And I hope that everyone... I mean, I, I, I can't believe we survived 2020. And I really hope that 2021 is a much better year for everyone. Okay, and for those who are hurting because they lost loved ones, I really do pray that you have strength and love for humanity and Jesus to get through this. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to say, 
I hope everybody watching has a great day tomorrow and things go your way. Happy New Year.